The Rapid Geriatric Assessment, or RGA, is a simple, rapid screening program developed at St. Louis University to identify at-risk persons over 65. It can be performed by any member of the interprofessional team, trained volunteers, or health profession students, and takes less than five minutes to complete. The RGA is based on the use of four validated assessment tools for use with older adults. The Simple Frail Questionnaire, the SARC-F Screen for Sarcopenia, the Simplified Nutritional Assessment Questionnaire, or SNAC, and the Rapid Cognitive Screen, or RCS. Frailty is the diminished ability to carry out important activities of daily living when a person is under stress. Frailty must be distinguished from disability. It's a pre-disability state, which is why it's very important to look for it and treat it before the person becomes disabled. The goal is to prevent disability. Sarcopenia is literally translated from the Greek as poverty of the flesh. It is a decrease in muscle structure and function. Just like frailty, if caught early enough, sarcopenia can be treated and potentially reversed before the person becomes disabled. The Simplified Nutritional Assessment Questionnaire, or SNAC, assesses a person's risk of weight loss. Whether or not the loss of weight is intentional, it may be a cause for concern in those over age 65. Weight loss can contribute to memory loss, decreased immune function, predisposing to infection, decreased muscle mass and weakness, loss of function, and poor wound healing. Weight loss has also been associated with increase in mortality. A score on the snack of less than or equal to 14 is highly predictive of weight loss over the next six months. Using the snack can identify those people who would benefit from interventions to prevent malnutrition and weight loss. Major neurocognitive disorder, commonly known as dementia, is significant memory loss that affects a person's ability to function over time. There are many types of cognitive impairment, some of which are reversible if caught early. Even the dementing illnesses that are not reversible, like Alzheimer's or vascular disease, can be managed and ameliorated in early stages through multi-component interprofessional interventions. Additionally, patients, families, and primary care providers often fail to recognize memory impairment in the earlier stages. This is why testing for cognition and early identification of disease is so important. Many cognitive tests that can be performed in the office setting take time to perform. That is why the Rapid Cognitive Screen was created. It is a short three-minute version of the St. Louis University Mental Status Examination, but still picks up both mild and more advanced cognitive impairment. The last part of the Rapid Geriatric Assessment is the question, do you have an advanced directive? If the person answers no, this is a great opportunity to schedule a visit with his doctor in order to have that conversation. Advanced care planning is important in order to ensure patient goals are met and, is, and this is now reimbursed in the United States by Medicare. Good morning, my name is Milta. Hi Milta, my name is Rose. Very nice to meet you. Thank you. I'm going to be asking you some questions about your health and memory today. It should take us about four to five minutes to complete everything. First of all, do you have a primary care physician? Yes, I do. Dr. Smith has his office downtown. Fantastic. After we are done, I'm going to give you a copy of the test results and some follow-up information for you to take with you to your next doctor's appointment. Oh, that'll be terrific. To begin, please answer these questions about your health. Answer them by how you usually feel most of the time, not just today. Okay. Are you fatigued or tired? Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of tired all the time. Okay. By yourself and not using aids, are you able to walk up one flight of stairs without resting? Uh, that would be kind of hard okay. for me to do that. Are you able to to make it up and down the stairs? Um, it's kind of hard. I have 
my laundry is downstairs and I haven't gone down there to do laundry in quite a long time. Okay. So not able to climb a flight of stairs. Yeah, those steps are really hard and then when you have laundry in your arms, mm -hmm. it's hard to do safely. Yes. By yourself and not using aids, are you able to walk one block or several hundred yards? Yeah, I can walk a block. Okay. What illnesses or conditions do you have? Oh goodness, I have high blood pressure and my cholesterol is too high and I have um, atrial fibrillation, you know, my mm -hmm. heart's not regular. Uh, and some diabetes, and asthma, and a little heartburn. Okay. Uh, my doctor told me my bones are kind of thin, mm -hmm. and I'm getting arthritis in my knees. Okay. And have you lost weight in the last six months? Yes, I have. How much weight have you lost? Well, based on my checkup, Six months ago, it would be about 25 pounds. Okay. Okay. A score of zero on the frail questionnaire indicates a healthy older adult. A score of one to two indicates pre-frail or early decline, and a score of three or more indicates decline and frailty. Rose scored four out of five. She got one point for fatigue, cannot walk up one flight of stairs, has more than five illnesses, and has lost more than 5% of her body weight in the last six months. Now, please answer these questions about your daily activities. Again, answer them by how you usually feel most of the time, not just today. And rate your answers as none, some, or a lot. How much difficulty do you have in lifting and carrying 10 pounds for example, about three bags of onions or one of those large bottles of detergent. Yeah, that would be that would be kind of heavy. I'd, I'd have some difficulty carrying those bags in the house. Okay, some difficulty. And how much difficulty do you have walking across a room? Oh, I, I don't have much difficulty with that. I can I can walk across the room. Excellent. And how much difficulty do you have getting up from a bed or chair? Well, if it doesn't have arms, I have some trouble getting up because I need something to hold on to. Okay. And how much difficulty do you have climbing a flight of 10 stairs? I really can't try to climb a flight of steps. Not able. That's really hard. Okay. And how many times have you fallen in the last year? I fell twice last year. I didn't get hurt, but now I try to be very careful. Okay. Rose scored five points out of ten on the SARC F screen, and a score of four or more indicates sarcopenia. Now, please answer these questions about your usual eating habits. Choose the best answer for each question based on your typical appetite, not just how you feel today. The first question, my appetite is very poor, poor, average, good, or very good? Well, it's, it's, it's about average. Average. Okay. And food. It, it, oh, I, I just wanted to. It used to be a little better, but it's not as good as it was. Okay. And food tastes very bad, bad, average, good, or very good. I've sort of lost my taste, so things don't taste as good as they did. It's, it's sort of average. Average. Okay. And when you eat. You feel full after eating a few mouthfuls. I feel full after eating about a third of a meal. 
I feel full after eating over half a meal, I feel full after eating most of the meal, or I hardly ever feel full. Oh, I feel it feel full quickly. I just get a few mouthful and I, I kind of feel full. Okay. I don't eat as much as I used to. Okay. And normally I eat less than one meal a day, one meal a day, two meals a day, three meals a day, or more than three meals a day. Well, I make three meals and and I, I sit down there to try to eat it, but I, I don't eat everything on the plate. Okay. Rose scored 11 points out of 20. A score of 14 or less is significant for weight loss and malnutrition. Lastly, I'm going to ask you some questions about your memory. Some are easy, some are hard. Do your best. Please remember these five objects. I will ask you what they are later. I will read them to you and you repeat them back to me. Apple, pen, tie, house, car. Apple, pen, tie, Um, okay. I'm sorry, I can't remember the other two. I'll repeat them again. Apple, pen, tie, house, car. Apple, pen, tie, house, car. This is a clock. Put in the hour markers and the time at 10 minutes to 11 o'clock. You went just markers? The numbers, the, the hour right. markers, yes. And you want 10 minutes to 11? Mm-hmm. Okay. Take the pen. Sure. <laughs> what were those five objects I asked you to remember? Um, apple, pen, tie, um, I don't think I can remember the other two. Okay. I'm going to tell you a story. Please listen carefully because afterwards I'm going to ask you about it. Jill was a very successful stockbroker. She made a lot of money on the stock market. She then met Jack, a devastatingly handsome man. She married him and had three children. They lived in Chicago. She then stopped work and stayed home to bring up her children. When they were teenagers, she went back to work. She and Jack lived happily ever after. What state did she live in? Well, they lived in Chicago. So that means they would live in the state of Illinois. Good. Rose scored six out of 10 on the rapid cognitive screen. The higher the score, the better the cognitive function. Eight to 10 is normal. Six to seven indicates mild cognitive impairment 
and zero to five indicates major neurocognitive disorder or dementia. Finally, do you have an advanced directive? No, I don't. Should I have one? Yes, everybody should have an advanced directive. It helps you to talk with your doctor about what your goals and wishes are for your health care. Oh, okay, I've never talked about that. Today I'll give you some information on an advanced directive to take to your doctor. Okay. And Rose, you did score below normal on your test today. Oh my. Remember, these tests are just the beginning of a more complete evaluation, so you will need to see your doctor to decide what to do next. Here are your results. And oh, excuse me, excuse me. And here is some information on the tests you took today. Oh, okay. Take these with you to your next appointment and show them to your doctor. Okay, that'll help because it will remind me what kind of questions I have to ask. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you, Milta. You're welcome. Take care.